Let us take a moment to appreciate the immeasurable success of the original DuckTales cartoon. This is a cartoon that had crazy international appeal and was translated to so many different languages and enjoyed across the world. And it managed to do this without shoving in Mickey or Minnie or any Disney princess or anything like that. No, this cartoon relied on an old man who had an absurd amount of money, and his only driving force in life was to gain even more money. And honestly, I think that's just a timeless lesson for children everywhere. And look at how healthy he is, too. He has this walking stick, but the moment you see him use it as a pogo stick you're going to realize he's probably just tricking some health insurance company or something like that. And honestly, that's just another life lesson we can learn from Scrooge McDuck. Really, what I'm trying to say is that Scrooge McDuck is an absolute hero and that his cartoon was popular for a reason. And really, what better way to celebrate this amazing protagonist than by playing his original game, DuckTales, for the Nintendo. Now, is the game as good as the show? I'm not a certified DuckTales connoisseur who is able to tell you this, but I can tell you that DuckTales on the NES is pretty damn good. Very, very fun game and very original game. You may think it is inspired a lot by Mega Man, especially since Capcom made the game, but really it does a lot of things different. Just the way you attack by pogo sticking around is very different from how Mega Man shoots his bullets forward. In addition to this, all the levels in this game are very open, and you kind of have to figure out where you're supposed to go, what sort of key you're supposed to get, and stuff like that. And the levels are all varied. They all have awesome music. You really just go around in different areas. I wasn't fond of the Himalayas here. I don't really like the idea of pogo sticking in the clouds and getting stuck. And I also don't like that I have to kill goats. I mean, this is the goat games. Forcing me to kill these goats is a bit too far, Scrooge McDuck, and I do not appreciate it. And there are, of course, the controls. They get it done nicely. They're very simple. It acknowledge that this is a two-button game. Um, pogoing around can seem a bit odd at first. You have to jump and hold down and B, but you get used to it soon enough, and it's easy enough to do. Also enjoy that not every enemy is solved by simply pogo sticking on them. There's a lot of enemies that you simply need to avoid. Uh, there's enemies that can be very difficult to kind of jump over even with the pogo stick. Some enemies you just can't hurt at all. And there's others that you need to get up close and kind of golf putt with your walking stick, which is pretty funny to see. The music as well is also just absolutely incredible. The moon theme, the theme that plays during the moon is of course a standout classic that I'm sure everyone remembers. But yes, you go to the moon, of course you can. I mean, there's private millionaires building their own rockets. You don't think Scrooge McDuck is cornering that as well? He's probably got his entire 
armada. He's got an entire space armada. He's probably already colonized Mars, for all we know, and he's just kind of holding back and letting us come to the sad reality when we land our astronauts there. They're going to see a giant money pit, a giant swimming pool full of gold, and Scrooge McDuck and his private mercenary companies are going to tell everyone to f*** off and to go find a different planet to colonize because he owns the legal rights to Mars. kind of a scoring system in place as well you can find wealth and treasure of course i mean this is scrooge mcduck it doesn't matter how many nephews are kidnapped if there's a diamond to pick up he's gonna be on it and there's lots of different ways uh lots of hidden ways to get extra gold and stuff like that kind of like castlevania 2 where you kind of just wait in a specific section of the screen and money will just spawn in behind you and you know, of course you gotta pick it up here. You have to find key items here and there. And it's just a very interesting and I would say relaxing game. Certainly relaxing by the Nintendo standards. But because this is still a Nintendo game and because I'm recording this in the year 2022, that means us modern gamers are gonna get absolutely annihilated. Which is what happened to me, of course. I've never played DuckTales for the Nintendo. But I can say if you grew up playing DuckTales, you had a pretty awesome game here. A lot of the Disney games for the original Nintendo I hear are quite good. I would love to check them out. I would love to check out the Chippendales Rescue Ranger game. I believe there's two of them, I think. Those games looked really, sp uh, really fun. I believe there's a Tailspin game as well. Uh, it was a very interesting era for Disney. They had a lot of just amazing cartoons that were all original characters. It's kind of surprising, really. Uh, very timeless characters. Even Darkwing Duck was awesome. I think he has his own game, too. One aspect of the game that I really want to give praise to is the sound design. They just use so many different cute sound effects that sound completely fitting for the game in question. When you're bouncing around on your pogo stick, it has a very distinct boing sound. And when you're crawling up ropes, there's this cute little scuttling sound that Scrooge McDuck makes. And really just everything in the game has a unique and just very fitting yet still charming sound that stands out. It's hard to describe sound, but the best way I can describe it is that it fits and it sounds great. There's really just a lot of charm and creativity put into this game. Capcom Riff definitely treated it with love. This was not some sloppy port job that they did. They didn't really just cash in on this. They really made a very interesting and unique game. I think it would have been cool to see more aspects from Mega Man incorporated into this game, but I'm content with what they had in the game here. I don't think they handled the other characters very well in this game. They just seem kind of there, and maybe they'll say a line or two. But I understand that this was probably how most Nintendo games were handled, with various characters and stuff like that. I would have enjoyed seeing somebody like Topspin, or well, I don't know what the pilot's name is. I'm going to say Topspin, Buzzsaw, or whatever his name is. We'll go with Topspin. I would have enjoyed seeing him have a bit more character. He can fly you home, which is pretty cool. But other than that, really is just Scrooge McDuck 
going on a rampage, collecting money, and bouncing around on enemies. You would think for a game based upon a show, it would have a bit more story or character in action or anything like that. And I know it sounds kind of weird for someone who plays retro games to want those things in their game, but it, it seems odd. Uh, the whole appeal is DuckTales, and while we get Scrooge McDuck in full, I don't feel like we necessarily get the other characters as much as I would like. Maybe that changes later on in the game. I really couldn't get too far. I mostly just got killed a lot. <laughs> but I did manage to beat Transylvania. So there's that at least. It definitely kicked my butt, but this is a really fun game. Classic, classic game. Uh, made by a beloved game developer, Capcom, who were really on top of their game at the time. And it was based on upon a very, very popular and still awesome cartoon to this day. And really, this is just a timeless game that teaches you the virtue of acquiring as much money as possible. The nephews love Scrooge McDuck, alright? Because he's rich, he probably gives the best presents at Christmas. Scrooge McDuck's a hero. Scrooge McDuck 2022. You heard it here first. Take it easy, and if you enjoy retro video game content, reviews, video game pickups, or any of that, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. Or if you're in Merritt Island, Florida, within the Merritt Square Mall, why don't you stop by at our store in person and check out some of these games. Say hey, all that jazz. Be cool to see you. Until next time, guys.